Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Stocks with Show Play of the Day. This is Disney. It's actually a long. I know, don't actually fall off your chair uh, being so shocked that I would do a long, but I, I do do longs, not that often. I'm very good at reading gaps, whether bullish or bearish, and Disney was a great long today. And in fact, I said that there was no chance this would not fail today, and it did not. That's something that I don't say all the time, but when I do, it absolutely works every time. And the first target was 100, and it's reached every target after that. And actually, the dream target today in Disney is 102.50. 102 is very realistic, though, for this stock. And the most recent high up here is 101.71. And the market's rally now and is holding. And that's not why this is working. Uh, but it could help Disney go to a dream target today. And that's a fact. But you really, you know, it, it, this is just one of these ones where, once again, you have to know where to put the stop. I think I got questions about this in a webinar recently. Do I ever get stopped out? Do I know where to put the stop? I absolutely just slam dunk this today because something happened uh, very fast in the morning, this little tally thing. I'm going to show you just in the one minute that held the stop. But if you didn't have it at the right place, it took people out. Let's go look at it. But I had it at the right place. Here's the open. Stock open rally. Came in. This tail happened at 947. The stop for the trade was 9875 and it held. It held. This is a machine generated tail that I knew after I saw it would lift the stock because it got bought in the tail. So this is what happens a lot on longs. Again, I prefer to go short because you can use tighter stops and shorts, but I do know where to put them in longs too. And this kept us in the trade. I, I was such a professional trading this today. I, I could not have traded this any better than I traded this today. And I, everyone that was there in the room today saw it live. Anyways, perfect. And then it lifted. I actually did this train and did an ad in this train and it just was, it was just a gorgeous trade. I mean, this is just perfect, 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 perfect. And, you know, most likely we'll get to 102. It got within 30 cents of it, and it could lift over 102 as well. It depends how long you want to be in the trade here. And I can blame anyone for me not of this whole thing in here. Again, it got 30 cents up almost to the target. Uh, but it has a lot of potential here to keep going here today and could run another dollar. Depends what, how much time you have to spend in the trade today. But... I told everyone where to put the stop. I had it at the right place. It was a great trade, and it held. Expert trading here today is what I did. In the call, in the trade, and everything else, very professional. I'm sure some people got dinged out of that went long it. I'm sure some people also did not go long Disney. They wanted to fade it. Why would someone want to fade a stock like this? Because the stock did gap up massively overnight into the, into the air. Stock closed at 94.10 and opened this morning at 99.39. This is the exact kind of thing where people want to fade. Why? Because they say the stock's gapped up too much, gapped up in the midair, gapped up too far. People will sell out of it with their profits that are long Disney from yesterday or however long they've been long Disney because Disney isn't an uptrend. And they say, well, people will take profits and they will short the gap as a day trade and it will fade. But the fact is that Disney was a good, highly rated bullish golden gap. And I called it today expertly. It held in midair, put the stop at the right place, and it was a gorgeous trade. And Disney is gone to the target to the next target and the next target. And this is a great call today. And it was a bullish call. And there will be times that I'm going to have to go long this year. Why? Because the market is very strong. And the market is going to make new highs this year. And there will be days where there isn't any good bearish gaps to short. And therefore, then you will need to go long if you want to do a good gap. Now, whether it's long or short, I still am looking for a gap that rates 20 points or more per my 26-point rating system. But Disney was it. Actually, I didn't even rate this. I'm just so good at knowing when something rates good. I actually, I actually didn't even rate this. Now that I, I, I didn't even rate it, but I knew it would work. I didn't even rate this today, and I did it. But I did do the numbers. I didn't even rate this. Well, I have to do. I'll have to maybe in the class this week, and I'll rate it. No, I'm gonna add it to the bullish gap class, which I am working on a bullish gap class. I did not rate this though today, but I knew that it would rate well because I, because I just. 
I just have a great eye. I mean, this is why when people come and they then they learn from me and they are training with me and I'm teaching them and training them in the class and in the room. I'm training their eye and their brain to read charts in the way that I do, to read price action in the way that I do, to read gaps in the way that I do. That's the benefit of coming to me. And 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 the and the benefit of coming to me far exceeds the price of the class or even the live trading room because Learning how to do what I do is something that most people cannot do on the planet. Most people on the planet cannot trade stocks, call trades, or see things in the way that I do. And that's why the idea of paying $3,000 for my class is like a drop in the bucket. And, and again, people ask me, how do you know all these numbers? The stock never traded at these numbers before in its life, just like I've called the spine, the, the numbers I'm calling for the market. How do I know what the support was in Disney? How did I know what the targets were in Disney? How did I know these things when this chart has never traded at any number that it's been at today ever before in its life? Because I have a gift to trade and read price action in gaps. And that's how I know what the numbers are going to be. And I just know and then I trade it and play it. And that's why it's really important to also be in the room with me. But you don't have to after the class. But something like today really would have benefited you being in the room with me today. Because there were no numbers on this chart. And I had them all right. And then I'm still right here with this here. This is continuing. It's because I understand how to read money and I understand how to read price because I understand how to read money. And I understand how to read price because I understand how to read gaps. It all goes together. It's all part and parcel of the same thing. So amazing call I made today in Disney. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we did not even get knocked out because we had to stop at exactly the right place. And here we go. Disney's going to try to make a new high right now over 71, right up to the next number, 102. Here it goes. What looks beautiful. Right up here. It's going to go right up here to 102. Disney's going to hit up on through 102 right now. 20 more cents. 11.25. And this could go. This could run up until 12 o'clock noon, actually. This could continue. Here it goes right now. Disney. And this is a great call today. So the Golden Guy class is this weekend, February 7th and 8th. If you want to learn from me, it's an opportunity because I really absolutely know what I'm doing. In fact, it was so funny. One guy said to me yesterday that I talked to that he listened to my videos and he came to the webinar and he said, I said, well, what did you, you know, see in the videos or the webinar? And he said, well, I could, I just could tell from your voice that you knew what you were talking about. <laughs> I was like, I do know what I'm talking about. And I chuckled. That was Josh. Josh that said that. Anyways, if you're interested in signing up for the class, you can email me at Melissa at the stock switch.com, everybody. Have a great day. Beautiful trade in Disney. Fabulous, fabulous. And uh, one of these ones here where this is just, you know, setting the tone for what this year is going to be. Uh, there are will be some very quality bullish gaps this year. And here goes Disney right up to 102. All right, I have to pay attention here. Uh, have a good day, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information or to sign up for the Golden Gap class. And great job, everyone that did Disney today. Hooray, Disney World.